guys, so today I thought I would show you my at-home facial routine or just the routine that I do when I really want to get the ultimate facial. So I always start out using my PMD, Personal Microdermabrasion. It's an at-home microdermabrasion. I've done many videos on this in the past. So if you want to see more about this in a review, then I will link those down below for you guys. You can also get this for a lot cheaper on Amazon as well. So I am going to go ahead and show you how I use this on my face. This is what I always do first. I've also just had a very long shower and my face is clean. I like doing this after my pores are opened up and I have like soaked for a little while. So my fingers were a little bit pruny. That's how long I was in the shower. So um, I always do this after like a bath or a shower or something about once a week. You don't want to do this too often. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to have lots of before and after pictures too so you guys can see the real difference that this makes in my skin. It's incredible. So just want to show you guys before, that way you can see the after shot afterwards, but I do have some acne scarring going on. I just had a bad breakout the past like two weeks or so, and then I also have a little bit of an active one right here that's still a little bit sore. So this routine is going to help clear those up and also start to fade those. So I know my face is a little bit red, but I don't know if you guys can see this, maybe I should zoom you in, but my pores are already a lot smaller on this side compared to this side, and that's because it's removing that top layer of skin that's a little bit rough and can show the ridges and stuff where your pores dip in, and so now it's like new baby skin, so it's really smooth and it just kind of blurs, you can't see the pores as much. Okay, so now that I'm finished with this, I'm going to go ahead and use my Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. That is the best mask that I've ever used. You can check out my old before and after videos that I've done. It's just incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and get that and apply that all over my face and let it sit for about 15 minutes or so. So with this, a little goes a really long way, so you don't need very much. That's why I think it's worth it because a jar of this will last you for about a year if you use it, you know, once a month or once a week or so. If you use it really consistently, obviously it's not going to last this long, but... So now that the mask is dry, it's ready to be removed. It's been about 20 or 30 minutes, and you can see around the nose area where all my large pores are and blackheads, you can see the little dots, so that means it's like sucking it out. It sounds really gross, but it really works. Like it just pulls everything out of your skin. It's the craziest thing. So let me go ahead and wash this off and then I'll show you guys what my skin looks like after. So I got all the mask washed off and there's a few little marks on my face that's just from where it was like wrinkled up from the mask. But now I'm going to go ahead and use my toner. This is the Michael Todd Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner and I just use this on a cotton round. That just helps calm the skin down. It's also antibacterial for acne and also helps rebalance the pH of your skin. While that's dry, I'm going to do a little bit of eye cream. This is the Michael Todd Intensive Eye Cream with Haloxyl and Eye List. This is a really great eye cream. I've done a review on this before too. I'll be sure to put all my skincare videos down below for you guys. I'm just applying a little bit of my prescription acne cream. It's crazy how much smoother my face feels. Like you, I can tell when applying stuff, it just doesn't feel as rough. It's just like super smooth. Now I'm just going to use my nighttime moisturizer. I recommend doing this routine at night because I really like to just slather my face in some really hydrating stuff and then use my acne cream and stuff too and just let it sit overnight and then you wake up with the most amazing skin to put makeup on after. Um, this is the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler um, Cream. I like using this at night. It's like my favorite night cream. And I'm just going to mix that with a little bit of the Paula's Choice Resist C15 Super Booster. This is vitamin C. E and ferulic acid. This is supposed to help fight acne scarring and stuff and I've done videos about that in the past so I will link everything that I know to do to reduce acne scarring and dark spots and stuff. I have that video. I'll link it down below for you guys. I just get a little moisturizer on my hands and then I drop a few drops of this into it. So 
So now I'm just going to treat some of the blemishes I have with the Mario Badescu Drying Cream. This has become my new favorite because I like it so much since it does have a little bit of a concealing factor so it's great to use under your makeup during the day. I've also been just layering this on at night and it helps dry up, especially active blemishes that you have. So you need the tiniest bit. I know this is a little pricey but look how big of a jar you get. It is 0.5 ounces and you need barely even this much so this is going to last I know a lifetime as long as it doesn't dry up. So I just kind of dab it on like that, any areas where I feel like I might be getting one. And you can tell it actually conceals pretty good. So another thing I like to do is just add a little bit of Neosporin to any dark spots that I have and this just helps fade them and treat them overnight too. So that is it for my at home facial routine. This is going to be great if you have any dark spots, any clogged pores, any blackheads on your nose. You can see my skin already looks so much better as it's starting to calm down. Also, if you are suffering from dry skin right now in the winter time, this is going to be great just to remove any of that dead skin around your nose or your chin, that sort of thing, and then just add all that moisture back in with the great ingredients and products that I use. This is also great for wrinkles and large pores with that PMD. So I will link you guys to all the products I use on the blog post that goes with this video, which will be linked down below in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Mederma Scar Gel. They asked me to try this out to see if it really made a difference in a scar that I have. So I was asked to test out the product for about 8 weeks and use it every single day to see how it worked. So I do have some before and after photos to actually show you.